Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an error that is file system error, fail to create directory. The system cannot find the path specified. So if you are receiving this error message while playing Baldur's Gate 3 game on your computer, or if the game is not saving, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to allow the game exe file to your Windows security if you are using Windows security and in case if you are using antivirus program, go ahead and allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you are using Windows security, go to the start menu, then click on settings, then click on update and security, click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection, scroll down. And at the end, you will see the option which says ransomware protection. Click on manage ransomware protection. And in my case, it's off. So in your case, it will be on. So if control folder access is on, click on allow an app through control folder access. Then click on yes to allow. And then click on find an allowed app. And then click on browse all apps. Then go to the game installation folder. So in my case, uh, I installed the game in D drive. So open the Steam folder, then open Steam apps, common, Baldur's Gate 3, open the bin folder, and then select the exe file. So select both the file. So select BG3, then click on open, and then click on add an allowed app. Once again, click on browse all apps, and then select BG3 DX11, and if you can, add the launcher also go ahead and add the launcher so for launcher you can go back and then open launcher and select the launcher and then click on open and once the game is added over here you can go ahead and try to relaunch the game and that should go ahead and fix the problem now in case uh, if you have any third party antivirus like maybe Bitdefender, Avast, Komodo or any any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file and the launcher to the antivirus program and still you are facing the problem, you can go ahead and disable um, the control folder access. Go to ransomware protection once again and then click on manage ransomware protection and go ahead and disable control folder access. Click on it, click on yes to allow. And this you can do it while playing the game. And once you are done playing the game, you can always enable your control folder access and that should go ahead and fix the problem. Now same thing you can do with your antivirus program. So while playing the game, you can go ahead and disable your antivirus program. And once you are done playing the game, you can enable your antivirus program. Now still you are facing the problem, then you can go ahead and close your OneDrive or Google Drive. If OneDrive or Google Drive is open on your computer, you can go ahead and close it. So here you can see OneDrive is open in my case. So make a right click on OneDrive. And here you can click on close OneDrive or you can go to settings and then select account. And then you can click on unlink this PC, click on unlink account. You can always link it later on. And then you can close it and make a right click once again on OneDrive and then click on close OneDrive. And then click on close OneDrive once again. And similarly, if you have Google Drive, go ahead and close it. So make sure that you close these two applications if you're running this. And also make sure that you disable Cloud Save in Steam and then restart your game. So open Steam, then go to Steam on the top left and then click on Settings. Go to Cloud. And uncheck the box which says enable Steam Cloud synchronization for application which support it. Uncheck this box and then click on OK. And do the same thing with the game. So click on the game. Make a right click on the Baldur's Gate 3. And then select properties. And then go to updates tab. And over here you can see the option which says the uh, Steam Cloud store information. So if this is enabled, so you can go ahead and uncheck this and then in my case, it's uh, already grayed out because I disabled it from the Steam settings. So if, you can, if this is enabled, you can go ahead and uncheck over here and then close it and then try to launch the game once again. Now, the next step is to restore documents folder. Let me close one drive. It's always coming up. So restore documents folder to default in File Explorer. So open File Explorer on your computer. And then um, over here, you select the documents folder. So here you can see documents. Make sure that your documents folder has this Larian Studios um, folder. This is the save file. So select the documents folder over here and then make a right click on documents 
and then go to properties and this is documents properties and then go to the location tab and then click on restore default click on restore def default then click on apply ok and then try to launch once again and that should go ahead and fix the problem the next step is to run the game as an administrator for that you can go to the game exe file so go to the game installation folder open the steam folder steam apps common Baldur's Gate 3 bin folder select the game exe file if you are using bg3 you can make a right click then select properties and then go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply and then click on ok do the same thing with bg3 dx11 make a right click go to compatibility and then put a check over here then click on apply ok and you can do the same thing with the launcher also so open this launcher and then select the launcher make a right click properties compatibility put a check on this box run as administrator then apply ok and then try to relaunch the game if nothing works you can go and verify the game files so you can go to steam and then make a right click on the game select properties go to local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game file so one of the steps should definitely help you to save the game successfully and get rid of this error message so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel